of Two Tube. We are broadcasting from Dublin's RDS at the BT Young Scientist Exhibition. <laughs> Yes, this year has been bigger and better than any year before. And we've been lucky enough to spend the whole day pretty much running around, have, yes. checking out loads of projects and meeting loads of students. What uh, projects have stood out for you? Uh, well, we, I was talking to a girl and they created this app and it found litter. And basically they took a picture of the litter and then people come and clear it away. So you got to alert the authorities. Not the authorities. The authorities. The authorities. The no littering. No, it was brilliant. Really cool. I gave birth to a chicken. Well, I didn't give birth to a chicken. <laughs> but I, I brought a chicken into the world. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at some of those projects a little bit later on. But first... Steve and I thought we would try a few of our own scientific experiments. Let's have a look. Science is the process of observing and processing the world around us. It comes from the Latin word scientitia, which... I, I actually don't know what it means. Well, you've kind of just explained it already. Anyway, as the BT Young Scientist exhibition is underway, it's inspired us to get out our pipettes, our tongues, and reignite those Bunsen burners. Some of you might recognise this here. It's a water bottle. <laughs> Here's a few experiments that you can do at home with a water bottle. Experiment one, the yolk. An egg is the biggest single cell organism in the entire planet and they're actually quite strong despite how fragile they may look. It's even really difficult to break the egg if you squeeze it with one hand. It's really hard to do, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually you can walk on raw eggs and they won't break. <laughs> Not all the time. Might hide the odour. But inside the egg is an albumin and a yolk. And trying to separate the two is near impossible. All you need is an egg and a bottle. Just squeeze the air out of the bottle, making a vacuum, and then suck the yolk up, and voila, no more messiness. Experiment two, the cloud bottle. Do you ever wonder what a cloud looks like up close? <gasps> I'd say they're more like candy glass. <laughs> Not quite. A cloud is in fact water droplets created under low pressure in the atmosphere. All you gotta do is put the water into the bottle and pump it to increase the temperature. Now add a touch of smoke to the bottle and secure it tightly. Now when you squeeze the bottle, the pressure suddenly drops, making the water vaporize. And there you have it, the cloud bottle. Experiment three, the cola volcano. What happens when you shake a bottle of cola and you open it? Oh, thanks. <laughs> The carbon dioxide in the cola is unsettled when shaken and when opened, it's forced to try and escape with the gas. But what happens if you put vinegar in the cola? <laughs> Nothing. You just spoil a perfectly tasty bottle of cola. Yes, but what would happen if you put a mint into the cola? Three, two, one. The many pores on the mint catalyze the release of the carbon dioxide from the cola, resulting in a rapid explosion of foam. And there you have it, three cool experiments you can do with these bottles. But it doesn't mean you should do them, though. <laughs> oh, Stephen, your breath's absolutely gross. Here, take a mint. <laughs> We really were. Well, you were especially awful. I'm pretty sure you knew that I was going to break those eggs. Yeah, I did. Of course I knew. Of course, of course I knew. I didn't even have the spare change of socks. <laughs> oh. Well, luckily enough for us, uh, there are over 2,000 young scientists surrounding us right now with over 550 projects. It's absolutely amazing. This place is jam-packed and it's literally buzzing. It is. The place is completely jammed. So we ran around and we spoke to a few students who are hoping to bag the grand prize of 5,000 euro. What would you do with all that money? Oh my goodness, amazing. And the chance to represent Ireland in the European Young Scientist Exhibition. So let's have a look at a few of those projects. here with two Roisins from Colossa Cullum in Cork. So tell me a little bit about your project. It's an app. Yeah, it's a litter locating app and website to easily locate where the litter is and it helps community activists to reduce physical labour and then thereby it means it just reduces litter quickly. Cool, so basically if you see litter in your area you take a picture of it and then where does the, where does the picture go? Who finds out about the litter the then? The photo gets sent to us through email and then with your brief description we can upload this to a hotspot map on our website. This it allows you to take the photo. So so you take the photo, cool. Yeah. Or then it allows you to either save it, put it on Facebook, Twitter, or email. So you'd email so it's it. So it's so easy to use. Oh, it's, it's completely so user friendly. friendly. We try to make it as easy to use as possible. 
So who made the app for you guys? Um, we both made it together. We made it on iBuild App. It's a website that allows you to make app without any coding. Amazing. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for showing me your app. Thank you very, thank you much. very much. Grow fast food with hydroponics. Brian from Garbley College, County Galway. Tell me, what does that mean? Well, hydroponics is a very simple system. It's growing food without soil. Mm -hmm. We just put the nutrients into water and let the water pass through. Weird. So there's absolutely no soil in no. this at all. And look how these much have that's never grown. seen soil. You that's can ridiculous. See, these have never ever seen soil. Mm -hmm. Now these are these dead. aren't looking that great. Right these now. are dead, <laughs> but it's January. It's outside yeah. season. It's never been done on a mass scale in Ireland or in Europe. It's always been done in the Americas, and we don't understand why not. And that's what you want to happen. There's exactly. another part to this project as well. Ronan, you're standing over here. You got a bunch of fish and a bunch of plants. What's going on? This is called aquaponics, where we use the waste of the fish. We use this bacteria here, which changes the waste into the nutrients needed for the uh, mm -hmm. plants. Uh, the roots here, they absorb it, and uh, the roots filter the water, which then pump back down to the fish, like a cycle around the place. So they. Again, go, absolutely yeah. no soil used. Absolutely no soil, and they go about three times faster. Yeah, because if you're looking at this, the, the yeah. size of that is size of crazy. Year. It's absolutely mm -hmm. mental. So effectively, they're growing because the fish, the fish are pooing, and the fish are, yeah. survive because the plants. Amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations on everything, Thank you very much. and good luck today. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for today. We've had a good time. Have you guys have a good time? Yeah. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We're going to be broadcasting from here again. And also, if you're around, say hi. Absolutely. Come over and say hello to us. That's all we've got time for now, though. It's time for The Simpsons from Dave. <laughs>